Okay, so we're already off to a bad start because there are actually no carts, so we're just gonna be dragging stuff around, I guess. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook. Sometimes I go picking with my boyfriend, sometimes it's my best friend Sue, and sometimes it's my kids. But at the end of the day, it's all about having fun and hopefully just maybe making a profit. All right. Well, we're here at the Goodwill. Yes. And we haven't been to the Goodwill in a couple of weeks. So we are optimistic that it will be as successful yes. as our trip to Community Aid. Mm -hmm. That, that the shelves will be... Hopefully turnaround has happened. Oh, yeah. And yeah. the shelves will be stocked up with goodies because Cross. we haven't been there to steal that. That's yet. right. So... <laughs> Now we're gonna go in and just vacuum up all the stuff they That's left right. for us. That's right. <laughs> all right, well, let's head in and see what we can find that we can flip for a profit. All Here right, we we'll go. see you inside. Here we go, Sue. Optimistic. Right. Happy thoughts. Good positive thoughts. Okay, as you can see, I have a box with me. Mm -hmm. And people often ask, what happens? When you get something home, it turns out that it's not what you thought it was, or it's got more damage than you're comfortable with, or whatever. This is what happens. It comes right back to the Goodwill. Yes. So, yes, I got a few things to give <laughs> Okay, so we're already off to a bad start because there are actually no carts. So we're just going to be dragging stuff around, I guess. It's going to make for an interesting day. <laughs> okay. Not sure how we're going to make this work. Maybe they'll let us just pile stuff up front. Ah, yes. The cashier has come to my rescue and she brought me a cart. <laughs> awesome. Now I can buy stuff. All right. All right, well, it looks like we've got some new old stock Libby glasses. 12 ounce. Yeah, why not? Pickings have been a little slim going down this aisle, unfortunately. Not seeing a whole lot. Oh, look, there's some bells. <laughs> you can ring the bell. Like I see them everywhere now. It's kind of weird. Oh, somebody's complaining about the music. Mm, so disappointed that the music's not working and I'm not getting a copyright strike. Great Houdini. And somebody's raccoon collection. That is a massive crackle glass pitcher and I can't tell, it looks kind of modern, but you know what? The size, yes please. So this little piece, I like that. All right, now we're on to something. What do we have here? <gasps> Hello, what year are you? 2014? Well, I don't know how I feel about you. I kind of like you. You're not a city mug. I feel like it wouldn't be worth much. What is 0408? I don't know how that's relevant. I'll buy you and then I'll use you if I can't sell you. Oh man, I'm talking to my mugs now. I like this. This is good. This is kind of like Majolica. If we could find a plate, we'd be in business. For now, we're just gonna get the cup. Let's look for a plate that goes with it.
It's actually kind of cute. I usually don't do much with people figurines. Um, but <laughs> I kind of like her. I like the puppy. I think I like the puppy and I'm just willing to deal with her. Also, these guys are cute. I think I've picked them up before. I was just wondering where you were and then believe it or not, I spotted the camera. <laughs> you spotted the camera before you spotted me? I spotted the camera before I spotted you. <laughs> oh, I'm just lurking over here with my camera. Looks like Italy. What does it say? Oh, made in USA. Hmm, nah. I will pass. It looks like modern, a more modern piece. It's kind of fun. I like the looks of this cookie jar. I want to flip it and see if it says Fitz and Floyd. Uh, JC Penny. Yeah, no, thank you. What does this say? Maggie Soup Time. Looks like an advertising mug. I don't even know what company that is, but I like the finish on that mug, so I'll take a chance on that. Hmm. A little flapper bear. Brass button bears. So I actually found two pieces here side by side. I found this, which is celluloid. It's like a little powder jar. There's actually a mark on there. I can't really make it out. Ivory something quality. I don't know. But, um, oh, you know what? Look, there's a crack. Never mind. Forget that. This, on the other hand, has a bird on it. And I like birds for $3.00. Like birds for three dollars thank you what is this it's as is ah it's got a chip that's a shame that's really nice but I that's like too much of a chip for me even Some little marble boxes. No. Okay, so I spotted this for Andrew. And it's marked Pensbury Pottery. Morseful PA. Meh, for a dollar. Just stick that in there. Hello. <laughs> that is a piece of milk glass that I would buy. Is that Pyrex or glass bake? Neither. Proctor Silex. I don't know what that is. Okay, now the fact that the past couple times I've been here, I found stuff hidden on bottom rows, tucked behind stuff. I've decided to do a little investigating this time. And I did just discover these hidden in the back uh, they are just 
well, vintage <laughs> Christmas ornaments. And they were tucked and hidden down in the back. So it makes me think that I need to do a little closer look-see. You know what? There's a lot of Pyrex here today. Unfortunately, there's no, like, real fantastic Pyrex. There's no gooseberry. Somebody probably already came in and cleaned out the gooseberry. But, um, yeah. So I'm just looking a little bit closer at these bottom rows. So much Halloween. Well, that looks vintage. Looks like it's got some damage, but. $2? Yeah, okay. I'll take it, I don't even know who it is. Oh, I can't get my card through here. Okay. Ready for my close up, Mr. Dino? <laughs> All right, this I just grabbed. This is just this really pretty pashmina, and I just saw it. This is not a resale piece. This comes home with me. I you like know. it, it's a good color. I, I it's like a good it. color for you, too. Well, I may not wear it, I may end up just throwing it on my cat's chair. Oh, you know, which means it's a good color on Audi, too. I yes, think that's what I think. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, he, well, he, oh, that's pathetic. I'm buying your shawl for my cat. I, I wasn't going to say it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> he loves curling up on these things. Oh. So, let me start with, this is going home with you. These are little ceramic hey, ornaments. So cute. And Ashton made out like a bandit over at Community Aid. And it's a dollar. And for a dollar, Juliet's going to have her whole little Christmas village. I like it. So it's different little houses. And she houses can paint and them. Church. She can, my God, she can have mouse parties in these, you know. <laughs> she can catch flies and stick them in there. She can do whatever she wants to do. But knowing her, she'll line them up in straight little rows. But yes, you go there. Yes, she will organize her, her own little universe. Oh, we'll so cute. We'll turn her into a dictator yet. <laughs> This is just, it's an American made piece. I like that. I, I picked totally that up, but I passed on it. I i like it. I'm I glad walked, you picked it up. I'm I glad you picked it up. It a couple of times yeah. because it's, it, there's nothing special about it. But then I realized if I pick this up twice, there is something <laughs> special yeah. about it. Yeah. It's got an Italian feel to it. And I was yes. really surprised to see it. It was American made when I turned it over. But I just, I just like it. It's just yes. a pleasant looking piece. I'm glad you grabbed it. Piece. This one. It's Japanese. They're really nicely done. And obviously it's a wall plaque. Yeah. But it's got all its little fingers and toes. It's nicely painted. Again, Japan from mm -hmm. the post-war period. Another Japan. Um, little salt and pepper shakers. So and cute. they're just kind of cute, you know? Yeah. So, um, this. I do not believe this is mid-century. I believe, <laughs> we went through this in a previous video. Yes, I did. I believe this is retro. But even though it might not be mid-century, it's got a beautiful mid-century design. And of course, it's got all the drink mix information on it which makes it a great bar glass regardless and for a dollar oh yeah let's get you out handmade piece ornate heavily gilded mm -hmm. um i checked it carefully for cracks and breaks not seeing anything it's got the whole provenance here 1974 and i just think that that's a nice handcrafted piece yeah. So, 
And those we'll get back to in a minute. This is filthy. But again, just a really interesting piece. A nice little gravy boat. Nice lines, nice design. Um, stay. And this is probably made in the U.S. A Lusterware vase. Again, all its fingers and toes. Um, but, gee, I do love that Lusterware paint. And I like the colors on this. This sort of, you know, magenta berry moving into purple into mm -hmm. blue. Oh, where are you? Oh, a bell. Yeah, it's nice. It's got this little sort of Imari slash Kutani. It's sort of Kutani design in, a, in an Imari uh, construct. Uh, faux Japanese is how <laughs> I would describe it. But it's just a nice little Japanese looking bell. My God. He's got a little scar. I know. Isn't he great? Oh, he's so that, vintage. Oh, that is just outrageous. You, you'd never get away with that. I time. know. It's so funny. Oh, somebody's going to want this. You know, I'm going to open this out, I think. No. Can I? No, it's where this. How are we stuck I'm here? Sure. No. Oh, careful. Yeah, all right. I see what it is. I'm going to put this in my car. <laughs> okay. I just don't want him getting crushed. Oh, these are beautiful glass ornaments. Mm -hmm. Vintage. You know, when I was a kid, little kids were in the emergency room the entire Christmas season because they would knock them off the trees and, and then step, step on, on them, them. Yes. in their little bare feet. Yes. For Andrew. I knew that right away. Oh, look, he's making out, isn't he? He is. Hold that. Very pretty. Starbucks, too. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I like the design. All right. Ah, the bunny. The bunny. I was hoping you would pick up the bunny. <laughs> I saw the bunny and I said, gee, I don't know. She's not crazy about milk class. But then I thought maybe a bunny. Maybe a bunny. <laughs> All right. The bunny did it. The bunny goes home with you, huh? Bye. Ooh. Oh, these are golden oldies. Mm-hmm. New old stock. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Okay, now who is this? This is a little figurine. Oh, beautiful Japan work again. She's eating a candy bar. I was trying to I figure know. out why she was talking on the cell phone. <laughs> and it's like, how in the world can this kid be talking on a cell phone? All right. She's eating a candy bar. My bad. Ooh. Yeah. That's nice. Very heavy. Mm-hmm. Mm. I liked it. Oh, I wasn't yeah. well, sure how old it was, but... Glass. Um, you know, I'm going to guess 70s, but... But it's a guess. Mm. I liked it. I picked this little bugger up. Did you? I actually did. I liked the bird. I thought this bird. is nice. Did, I thought it's just a nice piece of English china. And then I just walked away from it. I don't know why. Yeah. It was one of those. That's funny. You picked up stuff that I put back, and I picked yeah. up stuff that you put back. Oh, yeah. He, ooh. Unfortunately, it does not have a plate to go with it. Wow. That's really nice. Yeah. It's got a beautiful little shell motif. And, and coral. That's what that is. It's mm -hmm. coral. All right. And there's That's one more little. Great. Oh, there's two more. There's more goodies in here. Ooh, you are pretty. So, what did you find when you pulled the ticket off? Um, I didn't pull the ticket off. Somebody else did. I just liked it, so I stuck it in my cart. I like it too. You know that? That reminds me of cake frosting. Mm -hmm. Like a chocolate like a gingerbread. Yeah. That's exactly. what. I, that's what I thought. Beautiful. <laughs> Yeah. And a little mug that I wasn't really sure about, but I liked the color of it. And it was an advertising piece. Yeah. So I liked it. It's newer than old. Yeah, it has them. Oh, I didn't notice that. Little reader. Oh, my camera's about to die. All right. <laughs> we will mourn it. I like it. I like the color combination. <laughs> that was everything. All right. That's everything. Well, that's a nice little haul. Yeah. 
Let me just carefully get I was pretty pleased back. with it. All right, time to switch the batteries. My poor bunny has a chip. I'm afraid that I should leave it behind. Uh, yeah. Although it is in the back, isn't it? No, it's no. on the side. I don't know. I've got mixed feelings about this. I do like the bunny. Hmm. Now I've separated these into two piles. They're all mine, but this pile is going to be packed with her things. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm buying it. Okay, that's it. Oh, wait, let me turn on that AC. It might be too loud. Oh, it's so hot. Okay, yes. <laughs> all right. Well, we made out better than I thought we would. We did. We wandered out of there with two full carts. Yes. Well, it started a little slow. Yes. I have to admit. I was like, oh, I'm not finding anything. And some of the people in there were just very rude. Not the employees. Like, the no, people the shopping. people shopping. And it's very <laughs> unusual because we don't often find that. No. But it was... Uh, Mm. It was an experience. It was a different sort of crowd I'm just like trying today. to be friendly and nice. People are like blocking the path completely and I'm standing there like, she like looked at me and then just kept blocking it and I'm like. And stealing this, your cart But this right was the same lady you. that like, we walked in and there was two carts left and I was in front of her and I could have grabbed it but I, I was gonna let her have it. And Sue's like, oh, well there's a cart. I'm like, oh no. And the other lady's like, well I'm taking it. I'm like. Well, she's brave if oh, she was okay. going to go up against both of us. I was going to let you have it, but I guess you can take it. <laughs> anyway, quite the adventure at the Goodwill today. But we yes, got some good stuff. We did. We saw our friends that worked there. Yes. Andrew is probably the big winner from the Goodwill. Um, he's yes. got, what, at least half a dozen items I know. I think he made out better than we did, and he wasn't even here today. Hmm. Not bad. Yeah, not bad at all. All right. <laughs> all right. So uh, we're going to get out of here, but make sure you stay tuned tomorrow for the haul video where I talk about everything that we got over the past two days of videos. And, and tell Drew he needs to pull out his stuff and talk about it. Yes. And um, yeah, and we will um, talk about what it's worth, how much I can get for it on eBay. And make sure you go check out Sue's channel, Sue Me. Sue Me. Link down in the description. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Oh, one more. Oh, quick, quick. Yeah. Um, I don't know if all of the Crazy Lamp Lady people know this, all the Sumi people know this. Mm -hmm. I got the Jocelyn Sue puppets and I'm doing giveaways. Ah. You can go over and sign on up for a Joss or Sue puppet. So oh, yes, it. there you go. So you can have your own little conversations. And <laughs> yeah, I know people are going to think you're strange, but hey, <laughs> they're sock puppets. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right, see you later. We'll see you later. Bye. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook.